assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we shall learn how to obtain uh, the circuit uh, equivalent circuit parameters for a transformer and the equivalent electrical circuit uh, of a transformer was discussed in the last lecture it is given by this uh, figure here the symbol is for an ideal transformer and this resistance uh, is uh, the resistance of copper windings on the primary side this is resistance of copper windings on the secondary side uh, this uh, impedance uh, inductive reactance and this inductive reactance these are to incorporate the leakage flux on the primary side and on the secondary side rc is to uh, incorporate the effect of um, core losses and gxm to incorporate the effect of magnetization current all these steps were discussed in the last lecture furthermore this equivalent electrical circuit can be uh, redrawn uh, and simplified to this equivalent electrical circuit this equivalent circuit is obtained by referring all the quantities to the primary side uh, here our equivalent primary is obtained from this resistance and this resistance uh, this is obtained from this inductive reactance and this inductive reactance all these steps were explained in the previous lecture now the question is how to determine these parameters for a transformer so these parameters are determined experimentally for a transformer and two tests are performed on, a trans on the transformer to determine these parameters uh, these tests are the open circuit test and the short circuit test. So let's uh, first talk about the open circuit test. In open circuit test, what they do is uh, they have a transformer. Uh, we have a transformer with the primary windings and the secondary winding uh, for which uh, we want to determine this equivalent circuit parameter. Uh, what we do is we open circuit the secondary winding and apply a rated voltage on the primary side. We apply rated voltage on the primary side. Uh, Vp of t. Uh, we uh, measure this voltage, the applied voltage, by a voltmeter and uh, ideally, if secondary is open circuited, no primary current uh, should flow. However, this is not an ideal transformer. This is ideal transformer. Therefore, even if secondary is open circuited, some current will flow on the primary. So we also measure this primary current by using an ammeter. So ideal power transformer is a lossless device. So if there is no output, uh, then there is no input power uh, however real transformer is not a lossless even if secondary is open circuited that is no current is flowing in the secondary winding and there is no power transmitted to the secondary still some power will be consumed in the transformer so we measure that power as well by using a wattmeter We use a wattmeter to measure this power. So let's uh, call this voltage, uh, this uh, voltage measured by the voltmeter, the open circuit. Remember that this volt, this voltmeter and ammeter can only measure the magnitude of the voltages and not the phase angle. So V open circuit is the only is only the magnitude of uh, this uh, voltage. Likewise, this current is measured. Let's call it. Uh, I open circuit and the power uh, which is measured by the wattmeter let's call it uh, power now uh, what we see is uh, since the secondary uh, if you look at the equivalent electrical circuit uh, this secondary is open circuited uh, no current is flowing in the secondary uh, it means that all of the power is consumed in the excitation branch and uh, the impedance of this uh, branch uh, Z excitation, what is that? That is the ratio of the phasor uh, V and uh, the phasor I. However, uh, this uh, voltmeters, 
this voltmeter and ammeter, this cannot measure the phasors, they cannot measure the phase angles, this can only measure the magnitude. So this uh, Z excitation that is equal to this uh, magnitude of this voltage divided by the magnitude of the current and the phase angle. Uh, this, uh, these voltages have been measured by the voltmeter and the ammeter uh, but theta, how to get information about this theta? Theta can be uh, measured uh, by this relation. We know that uh, P open circuit, the power is the voltage multiplied by current multiplied by cosine of theta. That is cosine of theta is equal to the power uh, that is being consumed by the transformer uh, when the secondary is open circuited divided by V open circuited and I open circuited. So theta uh, is then cosine inverse of this quantity. Hence theta can also be calculated by this relation. Uh, once Z excitation, Z excitation is uh, the impedance of this excitation branch. Uh, Z excitation that is uh, the admittance, the inverse of this uh, uh, impedance that is uh, simply equal to I open circuit which is measured by the ammeter divided by V open circuit measured by the voltmeter and the angle, uh, angle becomes minus theta if you take inverse of it. Uh, this is uh, calculated by this relation. Uh, so everything, this uh, is measured, this is measured, this is calculated and then Y excitation, what is that? Uh, the admittance of this excitation branch is 1 over RC minus J1 over XM. So this will be a complex number, its real part is equal to 1 over RC and its imaginary part is equal to 1 over uh, minus 1 over xm. So this is how uh, we determine the parameters of the excitation branch. Uh, we uh, perform open circuit tests for that purpose. The second test that is performed is the short circuit test. Uh, for short circuit test, uh, what we do is Uh, we short the secondary. However, now we do not apply the rated voltage because if we apply rated voltage, excessive current will flow through the transformer uh, because secondary is short circuited. This is uh, this may damage the transformer, so we uh, apply low voltages and increase it gradually until the rated current flows in the transformer. Rated current uh, is the current for which uh, this transformer is designed. So we gradually increase this applied voltage until rated current flows in the transformer. And again we measure all these quantities. That is uh, we measure the voltage. Now we call it uh, the short circuit voltage. Uh, secondary is short circuited. Likewise we measure the current in the ammeter. Uh, this uh, voltmeter, again voltmeter and ammeter only measure the magnitude, this magnitudes, not the uh, phase angles. And we also measure the short set, uh, power uh, by the wattmeter. Now, what we observe over here is that uh, here, uh, this is the equivalent electrical circuit. We have applied uh, low voltages and these uh, impedances. Uh, this resistance and this inductive reactance these are quite high so very small current is flowing in this excitation branch because voltage applied voltage is very low hence uh, uh, most of the current will be flowing through this branch that is most of the power will be almost all of the power will be consumed in this branch we call it the series branch most of the power will be consumed in the series branch. Uh, therefore, uh, what is uh, the impedance of series branch? That is equal to 
uh, the short circuit voltage divided by short circuit current again since these are uh, these were only the magnitudes so magnitudes and the phase angle now the question is how to uh, measure this phase angle theta uh, let's uh, call it uh, to differentiate it from previous theta let's call it uh, theta se so to determine this uh, theta se again uh, we use the same relation that is uh, uh, power that is equal to v short circuit i short circuit into cosine of theta series and then theta series uh, is calculated by this relation cosine inverse of p short circuit g short circuit i short circuit so once theta is measured then uh, the uh, real part we can see that this uh, c z series that is equal to r equivalent refer to primary plus j x equivalent refer to primary so real part of this complex number will be r equivalent primary and the imaginary part of this complex number will be r equivalent uh, x equivalent primary uh, you also know that uh, this uh, r equivalent primary that is equal to rp plus a square rs similarly x equivalent primary is equal to xs uh, xp plus a square xs uh, although we have determined this r equivalent primary uh, but uh, we do not have uh, uh, any information about uh, rp and rs separately so there is no way to determine uh, or uh, to calculate them uh, separately we only can uh, determine this uh, r equivalent primary likewise we cannot uh, determine separately xp and xs we can only determine this thing uh, you also have uh, one lab experiment uh, you will perform a lab experiment on the transformer to determine all these uh, circuit parameters. Uh, let's uh, elaborate uh, all these this procedure with the help of one example.